For years and years, hers was one of the places to get an amazing plate of food. Yeah, you know this. She kept me alive for the first three years that I was in Lafayette. Well, her name is Ruby Charlo. In today's Spirit of Acadiana, Scott Brazda talks with the restaurant legend to talk plate lunches and a lasting legacy. He said, what would you like to do? You are too young to retire and you have too much to give. He said, what about a restaurant? I said, really? Really? And after retiring from food services at some of Acadiana's private schools, Ruby Charlo did just that. She opened restaurants, and for over 20 years, she made our stomachs smile. So I'm looking at her own cookbook, Ruby Charlo, Ruby's. And I'm here to give her some advice on how to cook, but I'm guessing that nobody should probably give Miss Ruby any advice on how to cook, right? No. No. You don't. You don't. <laughs> you listen. Yes, ma'am. Born Ruby Arsenault in the town of Sunset, she learned how to cook, like most people, from dear old mom. From a little girl, I would watch everything she did. We lived on a farm, and she was one of the world's best cooks. She, my dad used to say, oh, your mama could make a stone soup and make it taste good. Yes. So many accomplishments, 66 years of marriage to Jack Charlo, seven kids, and multiple grand, great, and great, great grandkids. But being a woman, being a black woman, starting her own restaurant in the early 90s in primarily a white man's world, that was a challenge. I had a very hard time being a black woman and a woman because they threw everything at the book at me. I threw it right back. Her son Tim uses her recipes at his successful Broussard restaurant and Ruby still gets that reaction, still sees that smile when someone remembers an amazing meal he or she had at one of her restaurants. That I really did something or fed somebody that was hungry and they enjoyed it. And that was what I wanted to do. Oh, I miss Miss Ruby and those big rolls that they had. She, now she had her place on Rue, Rue okay. Louis, uh, but uh, back in the 90s, it was right down here at the corner of Eras Landry and Easy Street, right down the street. Yeah. So anybody who worked in media, you know, TV3, TV10, the few that were over at 15 at that particular time in the 90s. That was the place I to mean, go. You know how much you know when you're in your first, second, third year of TV. Yeah. You're making below minimum wage. And right. boy, I'll tell you what, I you can, can get a five dollar plate lunch yeah. for Miss Ruby and it could last for three days. It was great. That's amazing. I miss that though. lady. <laughs> what a what great memory, though.